Hello there. One more step on the way to ensuring the security of our elections. MPs in the House of Commons voted at the third reading yesterday to accept the elections bill. But the lefties aren't happy with it. They're calling it an attack on democracy. Anyway, they're wrong, and the bill will now go through to the House of Lords to follow their procedures there, prior to royal assent. Unless all those lefty peers are also unhappy with it, then it could get interesting. So why are the lefties so hot under the collar about these new laws? Well, mostly because they don't like the idea of people having to show some form of voter ID when they turn up at the ballot box to vote. Labour MPs, it seems, view it as a move towards fascism or something. But when attending a Labour Party conference and voting during one, attendees have to produce a Labour Party ID but one supposes they think that's different. But it isn't. Then there's all the stuff you do that needs some sort of ID, from getting a passport, setting up a bank account, to collecting a parcel from your local post office. I don't see the lefties getting all belligerent about those requirements. Voting is important, and procedures to ensure one person, one vote, should be welcomed, not vilified. And anyone on the register who wants to vote can either use a photo ID they already possess, such as a driving licence, or they can get a free one from their local council. So the claim voter ID suppresses voting is a nonsense. And electoral voter ID is already a requirement within one part of the UK. Oh yes something that the lefties and their tame mainstream press never seem to mention. Because if you go to the polling booths in Northern Ireland, you have to produce voter ID. Here's what the Northern Ireland Electoral Office says. In Northern Ireland, the law requires that you produce one of seven forms of photographic identification when you vote at a polling station. The electoral identity card is produced by the electoral office and is one of the acceptable forms of identification. You must be listed on the electoral register to get a card. Not only that, the electoral card they issue can be used as proof of age for alcohol purchases and the like. Now I don't hear any claims that voting is suppressed in Northern Ireland. Do you? nor any demands that it be removed. In fact, think about it. If Northern Ireland was experiencing administrative difficulties with their voter ID system, or if voters were generally dissatisfied with it, then it would have factored into these parliamentary debates over voter ID for the rest of the UK in England, Scotland and Wales, wouldn't it? But as far as I can see, they steered well clear of that particular topic, and all we got from the opposition was talk about voter suppression and assaults on democracy, despite the free voter ID. They seem to be suggesting that the bill is actively discriminating against sections of society. Well, I beg to differ. An assault on democracy occurs when a system exists where people can easily cast more than one ballot without getting caught. But that seems to be the sort of democratic environment that the left wants to foster. A democratic environment where submitting your vote is seen about as important as pushing junk mail through a letterbox. Surely anything that pushes voting up the scale to something of substance must be a good thing. But this is not the only item within the bill that the lefties are taking issue with. There's also the matter of voting age. The left wants to reduce that to just 16 across the board. A ridiculous proposal, because there are so many things where Parliament, through the law, deems a person under 18 to not be responsible enough to engage in, and voting should be one of them. 
and one big reason for preventing that is because despite technically being able to leave school at 16, so many children of that age are still required by law to remain under the thrall of our left-wing dominated teaching fraternity until they're aged 18. So it's little wonder Labour is so pushy on this. And if Labour ever get into power which is an inevitability given our two-party state system and lefty state broadcaster and media, and could happen as soon as 2024, then with a Labour government you will see a reduction in voting age, be in absolutely no doubt about that one. And then in the lead-up to the elections, there'd be biased hustings events in every school and students being herded through the booths by teachers when they turn up at school on voting day. And it should concern you that such heavily biased teachers will have the endless opportunity to jam their ideologies into kids hoping to sway them left ready for the upcoming vote. And if you don't think that will happen or is not a concern, then you must be a dyed-in-the-wool communist. And just to throw some figures into the mix, according to Statista.com, there are nearly 1.5 million people in the UK aged 16 and 17. That's a lot of voters who are still under the influence of those with a heavy left-wing bias. And also bear in mind, the vast majority of those teachers are still very pro-EU and have probably not stopped their pushing of the blue flag with gold stars on it. Now the opposition has called all this gerrymandering and weakening our democracy, with the shadow minister for levelling up, Alex Norris, saying the new rules would shut down democracy and weaken it. Well, that's wrong. The new rules ensure that the people who come into the booths to vote are properly eligible to do so, and also that those that do vote are not still under the influence of those in loco parentis positions of authority and power over them. But when these laws eventually make their way through to royal assent, they will, as I've already said, only be there temporarily. The next Labour government, when it comes along, will no doubt reduce voting age and scrap all voter ID requirements. But there is one area where I agree with the detractors of this bill. And that is where proportional representation is concerned. This bill does not take that any further forward. In fact, it changes the elections of mayors and police and crime commissioners from their current proportional representation system to first pass the post, by scrapping the supplementary vote. Personally, I'd rather see the scrapping of those particular positions, especially that of police and crime commissioner. As far as I'm concerned, having mayors just puts another expensive tier of politicians into the system, all of whom are doing their best to be different to Westminster, just to justify their salaries while having PCCs is just an expensive waste of time and money. Now the supplementary vote is just one form of proportional representation and maybe not the best, so it could have been improved instead of being removed. Now the government argues that first past the post is tried and tested, is simple to use and gives clear results. I'm not convinced on that but the positives outweigh the negatives for me on this bill overall. At least all registered voters will have the opportunity to vote and the system will be more secure. So what's your opinion on voter ID? Please like and comment below. Please subscribe and like this video, buy a mug and support me on Patreon or PayPal and thank you for watching.